Hey Celebrate, this is Jeremy and Claire Cole. Uh, we're going to talk to you this morning about our key takeaways from the reading um, from Exodus chapter 35 verses 4 through 29. Um, so I had two really main takeaways that, that I took from this. Um, the first is, again, we see that God is more concerned and interested in what's in our hearts than our work. Um, at face value here, we see these are this is God's commandments to Moses and his people through Moses, asking for, for works, basically, to put together and build the tabernacle that he laid out in chapters 25 through 31. Um, but really, the works that he's asking for are a means to an end. You see that he's asking for these works from his people as a means to see what's in his people's hearts. Um, we see it, verse 5, everyone who is willing. Verse 21, everyone who is willing and whose heart moved them. Verse 22, all who were willing. All this is just showing that a giving and a willing heart should be a reflection of our salvation because of Jesus' sacrifice. That's why God's so concerned with what's in our hearts. Um, the second big takeaway I had, you can see in verse 10, um, Moses said, all who are skilled, and some translations, all who are gifted. Um, this is a great reminder, and one that I need, um, that our skills and talents are, are ultimately gifts from our Creator. Um, there's two camps we can we can tend to fall in. Um, one camp is that man, this is something I'm really good at. Um, I'm, this is a talent I have, or I've worked really hard for this. And another camp we can find ourselves in a lot is wow, this person is really good at this thing. Um, man, I wish I was that good. I wish I had that much talent or that much skill. Um, but we just got to realize and. I really needed this and really need to focus on this, that there's a purpose behind these things. There's a purpose behind it all. And the other thing is that we're all called to be workers. You see here that God is calling his people to work. Um, so I think ultimately we need to be thankful for the raw talent and skills and gifts that we've been given, but also we should be thankful for the freedom of choice that God gives us to choose to work for God's purpose and develop those skills in his name. Yeah, and just to piggyback off of what Jeremy said, my key takeaway from this passage was also on having a willing heart. Um, in this passage, the word willing is used five times, and that just stood out to me tremendously. So as I move forward this week, um, I'm just going to be praying that God gives me a willing heart because I know that oftentimes for me that doesn't come um, always naturally, unfortunately, and I know that that if I ask God for that, he will give me that willing heart. So as I move forward this week, I'm just going to be asking that God would use me to do his will and that I would be willing to do that and that my heart and my mind would be in the right place for that. Thanks for sharing this time with us. Uh, we're enjoying the wilderness and we'll see you guys soon.